I have so much emotion. Like, like I can't, like this is real. <laughs> like the days leading up to this, I still felt like it wasn't true or like it was just an idea or like it wasn't gonna happen. And like now that I'm here and I can see the Eiffel Tower, it's like kidding me. Like it's real. I'm here. I just finished having my breakfast and I thought we would go and spend the day. Enjoying Paris. I kind of want to go to the Eiffel Tower. Um, so, how about we do that? I'll bring you with me. I've I've always wanted to live in a different country, and it took me a while to you know save up for something like this and. I'm like, I, I don't know how it's going to be like, I cannot wait to be able to experience life here and just all the amazing things the city has to offer <laughs> and it's, and it's June so it's like perfect weather last night i realized that it gets dark until like 10 30 which is so unheard of in like the states and stuff yeah welcome to my humble abode so i thought i would show you a little otd something very simplistic so i'm wearing this white puff sleeve dress that i love it's just so easy one item and you're done so freaking cute and i paired it with my ballet flats that look more like mary jane's i just thought it's a flat easy cute it's the vibe my makeup not sure if i like it i'm gonna be pairing these sunnies so let's get going see the eiffel tower so excited
getting into a scam to send a petition. And I've seen the TikToks. So, no, it's because I'm by the Apple Tower. I'm like, no, girly. Okay, let's see if I can take a photo. but your best friend. Even though I experienced loneliness, I still was living with my brother and his girlfriend at my parents' house. And I remember one night, just speaking into the night, hoping I was speaking to my father and asking him to please bring someone to help fulfill this void of emptiness. Almost a year later, close to his birthday. Luis came into my life with such vulnerability and openness. He allowed me the space to appreciate myself and feel love in a way I hadn't before. Since that day in 2012, we've been together since. He's my fiance and I'm so happy that the universe has brought us together. I did move out one year to live at the dorms at UCLA, but I also had a roommate and would go home every weekend. So you see, I've never experienced the living alone diaries or just being with truly by yourself with no one I know. And part of this contribute to my fear of being alone. I think there's a clear distinction between being independent, which I feel I am, but there's a difference with having the comfort of someone always being there, knowing at the end of the day that you will see this person again. And thus brings me to my journey here. I always wanted to live in another country. And when I turned 30, I felt like I was having a small existential crisis. Will I be able to do this again? Why should I wait? That's why I decided to move abroad for two months and a half. And I wanna take you on this journey with me of this transition in my life learning more about myself and getting completely out of my comfort zone and hoping that I truly get over the fear of being alone or appreciate myself more. Sweet so, Paris. welcome to my Living Alone Diaries. Mm -hmm. 